Beloved, as we go from the feast of Messiah Jesus, raising Lazarus yesterday, to his entering Jerusalem today, we cannot truly understand what the journey to Pascha is about unless we see the what, all the things that are happening in light of who. The meaning of everything which happens is hidden in the one, Messiah Jesus, who accepts it freely, takes it upon himself. This week, our hymns constantly remind us of who it is who accepts suffering for our sake. This is true of Palm Sunday today also. The one who rides into Jerusalem on a foal is the glory. The God of Israel who rides the Trubic throne in the temple. We heard in the Prochemenon, the Lord is God and has revealed himself to us. The Lord refers to the one who appeared in the Old Testament and spoke to Moses and Elijah and Isaiah and Ezekiel and others. And we proclaim that that Lord is God. That one who made Sinai glow with smoke the pillar of fire is the one who comes humbly, as we see in the icon, side saddle, like a peasant. As I mentioned last evening, it was important for a peasant to show to a soldier that they were not going to do anything. And you can't swing a sword riding side saddle. That's a fact. So our Lord doesn't come as a general, as a conquering hero. He comes as a peasant, a lowly one. And I know for many, if not all of us, we're not descended from nobility. Our ancestors were peasants. They worked the land or the mines or in the mills. And our Lord comes to us in this simple way, as a peasant. And today, he the glory, whose throne is heaven and whose footstool is the earth, humbles himself and comes from Bethany, riding on a mute beast, the foal of an ass. Today he mounts an untamed colt as his chariot. The cherubim are afraid to gaze upon him. Yet the children honor him with their palms and branches as he hastens to his passion. Glory to you, O Christ, enthroned on high. Hosanna in the highest, that is saved in the highest. Blessed is he that comes in the name of the Lord. You who ride on the cherubim and are praised by the seraphim, you have sat, O gracious Lord, like David on a foal. And the children honored you with praise fitting for God. The King of Israel, the glory, who makes his throne the cherubim among the highest ranks of the angels. The Lord is in our midst. The Lord, who is God, is in our midst. The Mighty One who will save us. He who will bring joy upon us and renew us by his love. Our King comes to us just and bringing salvation. He is meek and riding on a beast of burden, on a young colt. And as we heard in the Gospel of Matthew's last evening, in the Gospel this morning, the only ones to see Christ for the selflessness which he is, coming down even to our pitifulness, and the ones who saw that, saw him, and love him for it, love him for riding on the foal, are the children. The children take the branches, and the children teach the adults to offer praise to God. Today also begins the preparation for our wedding with God. The bridegroom, that the bridegroom matins this evening, gets adorned for the wedding to us, 
with abandonment, brokenness, beating, crucifixion, and death. The body he gives us is a body torn, a sacrificial lamb. And all human ambitions, all human desires, all human plans and goals come to die at this wedding. For none will pass through from this life to the next, not a one. And in the revelation of the glory on the donkey also hides our trial. Today begins our trial. Do we expect such a God who comes not as a victor but as a peasant? And furthermore, can we accept such a God? A God whose throne is the heavens and footstool the earth, who makes himself so small as to come on a young animal and receive praise from children. To him the glory, our bridegroom, be glory with the Father and the Spirit for the ages. Amen.